any longer This place is fire, not getting lighter See the light getting brighter My eyes can comprehend the future ahead Welcome to CIF Daily Devotion and Prayer of the Lord Most High. And let's do our five acts of faith. 
share this broadcast, push the like button, tag your friends, subscribe to CIF TV, then number five, your support to the ministry. In behalf of God and Bishop Ghani and Pastorates in King, I'm Ed Galandi, celebrating with you the goodness of the Lord by studying His Word and loving God and loving people. Let's pray. We decree and declare our faith, Lord Most High, as we study Your Word. We will become as you wanted us to be in the likeness and image of Christ Jesus. Blessed we are according to your word. Blessed we are according to your promises by the power of the Holy Spirit in Christ Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Our topic is about effective faith. How could one person or a believer or a follower have an effective faith. One must have the required proper view of understanding to have an effective faith. Who is the effective faith and the source of it? Where and when an effective faith comes. Is it a gift? Then who is the giver? How and why? The answer to this one million dollar question of an understanding of an effective faith is found in Exodus 31 verse 1 to 11. According to those verses, understanding of an effective faith is all the working of God by the Holy Spirit for the glory of Christ Jesus because it is written, not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but and to your name give glory for your mercy and for your throat's sake. Psalms 115 verse 1. The Holy Scripture is, has, and always have the answer because the Scriptures from Genesis to Revelation the word of God and the Lord Most High is, was, and is the same. Revelation 13 verse 5. Understanding of an effective faith must be known by the believer or follower through 1 John 5, 7 to 8. Verse 7 says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Verse 8, And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. The Lord Most High is God in three persons. According to these verses, blessed triunity. He is, was, and is the solutions and the answers to your questions of understanding of an effective faith. Past, present, and future. Acts chapter 3 verse 16. And his name, Jesus Christ, 
through faith in his name, Jesus Christ had made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yes, the faith which is by him, Jesus Christ, truth has given him certain man lame from his mother's womb this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Apostle Peter and John blatantly and publicly said, don't marvel and look intently at us, for not by our own power and holiness made him whole and healed. This is the Holy Spirit understanding of an effective faith. At the two apostles, what is understanding? Understanding is the ability to do the right thing and to say no to the wrong thing. As a Christian, what is it all about? It is the ability to do what God wants you to do. It is the ability to say yes to God and no to sin. It is the ability to joyfully do what God wants you to do with the understanding of an effective faith he has entrusted to you for his purpose and his glory alone. For the joy of the Lord is the believer's strength. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. As a believer and follower of Christ Jesus, the good news is part of his purpose is to bless you. So there's nothing wrong with enjoying God's blessing. But God is saying, my purpose is more than just for you. Meaning, you and I are blessed to bless others. In order to experience understanding of an effective faith, you need to know two things. Take and apply in every fiber of our daily walk with God and live out by it. Number one, understanding a proper view of God. Understanding a proper view of God. Number two, understanding a proper view of yourself. Understanding a proper view of yourself. You cannot experience real understanding of an effective faith if you don't like and if you don't have a proper view of who God is. E.W. Tozer said, The most important thing about you is what you think of when you think of God. Let me repeat that. The most important thing about you is what you think of when you think of God. Please put it in the comment box. The most important thing about anybody is what enters your mind when you think of God and what you believe to be true about Him. Thinking and believing of the truth about the Most High will impact your life. Once you come to know God, you begin to see yourself. You will not have a proper view of understanding of who you are until you really come 
to know God. And once you come to know who God is and who you are, I tell you, experience, you will experience understanding of an effective faith. The Lord Most High is the living, loving, glorious, marvelous, beautiful, faithful, merciful God of the Holy Bible. He is the ancient of days. Wonderful one. Counselor. The mighty God. The everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. He is the darling of heaven. He is omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent God. He is forever loved, except at the judgment day. So we will look at David, the typical example or illustration of the Holy Spirit of the Holy Bible. He is a typology of Christ Jesus, a man after God's own heart. In 1 Chronicles 29, 10-14, we will learn and study on the doctrine and theology of the Holy Spirit at David, his servant. Notice and examine, okay, what makes David understand an effective faith? We must understand somebody's theology or doctrine by his prayer life that made him generous. This is how David prayed, starting in verse 10. Wherefore David blessed the Lord before all the congregation. And David said, Blessed be you, Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Here David understood God is not just somebody up there. God is our Father. That is very important. Do you know God is your father? What kind of father? Let's continue to read in verse 11. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. That's the doctrine, that's the theology of the Holy Spirit at David. That's the proper understanding of who God is. David understood that God is the greatest. Everything belongs to you, heavens and earth. Yours is the dominion. Didn't David did not stop there. Look at the next verse. Let's continue to read. Both riches and honor come of you. Wow. That's the Holy Spirit doctrine and theology at David. Highest view of God. A proper understanding view of God. And you reigns over all. Means God is sovereign. How big is your God? Be honest to yourself. How big? Oh, you mean like this only? No, no. How big is our God? Everybody. 
Wow! Biggest shout it out. Means God is infinite. Means God is infinite. Wow! The biggest. Let's continue reading. And in your hand, God's hand, is power and might. And in your hand, it is to make great and to give strength to all. Verse 13, Now therefore our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. Amen and amen. Notice and let his words embedded in your heart, mind, soul, and strength. For he is, was, and is an ending good and great. It is God who decides whom he will strengthen according to the verse. It is God who decides whom he will grant riches. It is God who decides whom he will grant honor. That is the system of God's department. That is the system of God's kingdom. That is the system of God's kingship. And that's the power and blessing of the living God. It does not mean you become lazy, but it is simply telling us, God, our Father, is in charge. Shout it out in the comment box. God, our Father, is in charge. According to these verses, from 1 Chronicles 29, verse 10 to 14. Now with that in mind, let me ask you, if you honestly and sincerely believe and understand who God is. Type Amen in the comment box. If you sincerely believe and have understanding about an effective faith. And according to these verses, it's all the working of God for your goodness, for your victory, and for your advantage because He is loving, living, God forever. Let's pray. Abba Father, Maker, Owner, and Possessor of heaven and earth, and all that there is. Thank you so much, Lord, for you are always grace us with your holy presence, feasting with your favor upon favor. Favor into favor, favor with favor, and favor for favor, for you are always an ending good. Let every Filipino's heart be the good soil, wherein your words planted in, and help and let it grow, grew and multiplied, and bears fruit as you are the designer, and this is what you desired for. Help us, O oh Lord, all the way to live out by and with your written words, because they are life, health, and wholeness for our bones and marrow. Bless its CIA family members in your deepest wisdom, knowledge and understanding pertaining to your words of an effective faith that it is all your working graces and love in the believers or followers aspects of life 
continue to bless all people whom you installed last May 9 election. 2022, all over the land of the Philippines. And let those elected persons as president, vice president, senators, all congressmen, governors, mayors, city and town councilors, barangay captain, and barangay kagawa. And all Filipinos, from the oldest to the youngest, for the goodness and progress of your country, Philippines. For we welcome the Holy Spirit to dwell with us and bring, brought in the mighty Holy Spirit revival all over every Filipino's lives, in all aspects, all over the Philippines. For the Philippines is for Christ, for the Philippines is with Christ Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord, for that. Continue to grace and bless the IPHC ministry leaders, PPHC ministry leaders, G12 leaders and ministry, CIF ministry leaders, and all of their prayer lists. Talk all their prayers, Lord, as a sweet fragrance, and put them all into your bosom, and consume them day and night as a sweet rising incense, burning continually up to your throne. Thank you so much, Lord, for that. Continue to bless and grace with your blessing all CIF team pastors and families, cover and fence them with your powerful hands and blood, taking them away from any evil and harm. Thank you so much, Lord, for that. Continue to bless all the lands, rivers, seas, and oceans round about the Philippines to yield their increases and in strength for all kinds of abundance of life, trees, vegetables, fruits, rice fields, corn fields, oils and gas, harvesting, piggeries, poultries, and livestock of all kinds, factories, industries and power plants, jobs of all sorts, which are accounted as integrity in the life of all the Filipinos. Lord, thank you so much for that. Continue to bless your city of Jerusalem, land of Israel, and to all the Israelite people giving them your peace that passes all understanding. And let them return to their Messiah, our Messiah, Jesus Christ of, of Nazareth. Thank you so much, Lord, for that. Continue to bless and empowering all Filipinos to go and support your praises to everyone be meet and as the witness of your wondrous love and wondrous works, all will be converted by the power of the Holy Spirit as believers and followers of Jesus Christ. And you will add them, Lord, to your CIF churches all over the globe. Holy Spirit, come and invade your country, Philippines. All churches, all families, all Filipinos' aspects of life, as Christ Jesus centered, lovers of God, hunger for God, and thirsty for God of the Holy Bible. In Christ Jesus' name we ask and pray. Amen and 
Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. His peace. Because he is the Prince of Peace. The Lord of Peace. And he is your peace. My peace. Nothing missing, nothing broken. This is the order and pattern of your life that you are forever blessed. You are always well favored by the living God, men, women, and children round about you all over the earth. In Christ Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you once again for joining us. Join us again tomorrow.